here in Luke chapter 5, we just, we come across this story. We come across this, this woman, this woman that the Bible calls her the, the woman with the issue of blood. She doesn't even have a name. She's just known by her issue. She's just known by her, her struggles. She's just known by her, her uncleansliness. The Bible says this woman has suffered for 12 years. It says that she has spent everything she has on doctors. She's only gotten worse. By now, the Mosaic Law has left her isolated. The law says that she is unclean, unworthy, that even her own family can't be in the same house with her. That by this time, it says she has spent everything that she has, everything that she owns, and she's just suffering. She's just suffering. And, and, and here comes Jesus walking along in a crowd, and it says that she heard about Jesus. So she came looking for him. It says she heard about his miracles and, and how he heals. And, and it says that this woman, she thought to herself, she thought in her head that she said over and over again, she said, if I can only touch that man. She said, by now she's been suffering for 12 years and she's weak with constant bleeding. She's, she's weak and, and she's, she's, at her, she's at the end of her strength. She's at the end of her faith and, and no one else could help her. No doctor could help her. For what man, this, this was an impossible situation, but, but she thought to herself, if I can only touch Jesus, if I can only just reach him, if I can only just touch him, if I could just touch the, the hem of his garment, then I know I'll be healed. And, and here she comes giving her last strength. It says she pressed in through the crowd. She's, she's doing something radical. She's doing everything that the law says not to do. That, that first of all, she's a woman. And she's in this time, she's not allowed to, to walk among men. She's unclean. She's not allowed to touch the priest. But she, she just has faith and she just believes that if she just can get to Jesus, if she could just touch him, that she would be made whole. So the Bible says she makes her way through this crowd, pushing in and pressing in, saying over and over again, if I can only just touch him. And she makes it, and she just falls behind him, and she just reaches out with her final strength, and she just touches the hem of his cloak as he's walking. And the Bible says that instantly, instantly, right at the very touch, that she was made whole. She was made complete, and her suffering has been ended. And Jesus stops, and and it's a beautiful thing when Jesus stopped. Think about that. Jesus turned around, the Bible says. Jesus turned around and, and said, Who touched me? And everyone around Jesus is saying, What do you mean who touched you? The, the crowd is pressing in. And, and he says, No, 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 no. Someone intentionally touched me. And the woman is quaking and trembling and she's scared. And, and, and the Bible says she just falls forward crying and trembling because she thinks that Jesus is going to is gonna rebuke her because uh, what she did was illegal. But Jesus says, no, 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 daughter. Jesus kneels down with her and, and, and gets on her level and says, daughter, daughter, your faith, your faith has healed you. And your suffering is over. So Jesus accepts the broken. Jesus receives the broken. He, he's not religious. He, he says, if the broken come to me, if the unclean come to me, I will heal all their wounds. And just like the woman who suffered for 12 years, just continually getting worse, it says instantly she was made whole.